you have bare spots in your lawn that you feel you need to fill in just to give you that quick little start you need to get your grass looking fantastic before we head into the heat of summer, well stay tuned because in today's video, we're gonna learn about how to fill in those bare spots in your lawn. I know what you're all thinking. Shouldn't you be dressed in a t-shirt, maybe some shorts, maybe a ball cap or something like that? Well, the spring weather has been really unpredictable for most of us here up in Canada. And I'm sure for most of our friends down in the northern part of the United States, this hasn't been your typical spring season. It's been very, very chilly and cold. Yeah, it may not be sunny today, but hey, you know what? At least it's not snowing. Well, it's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood. It is May the 9th and it is snowing like crazy. What the actual hell is going on? Yeah, that actually happened. Now that the weather's actually cooperating with us a little bit, it hasn't been the most typical spring that we've ever seen. Now we're probably gonna hop into those fall temperatures and spring straight into the summer. In one of my last videos, I showed you how to dethatch your lawn to get all the dead stuff out in order to help the grass grow. So why don't we go take a look and see how we've been coming along so far. This is what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. One thing I should have done a couple of weeks ago when I actually started dethatching this lawn was put a little bit of starter fertilizer down to give it that extra little bit of kick. The truth about starter fertilizer is, it is just not for new seed. Starter fertilizer fixes everything. Never repeat that. Starter fertilizer is not just for new seed, it fixes everything. So what I'm going to do after we're done fixing in the bare spots in this lawn, I'm going to put down a little bit of starter fertilizer because we have some rain coming and that's going to help us along a little bit quicker to help fill in some of those areas there in the lawn. Now let's go check out the area that we're going to reseed today. So if you remember back from our other video when we were dethatching the lawn, I brought you over here to see how this area I thought wasn't going to come back because I thought it was completely dead. Well it turns out I was right. This is completely dead and we're going to need to reseed this bare spot to help bring it back. So that's what we're going to do today. So some of the things that we need in order to make this reseeding process a success. Some lawn soil to simulate some seed to soil contact and to get some fresh soil in there. Some grass seed to put some grass seed down. And then and a little bit of peat moss in order to spread over the seed so birds and other animals can't get into it. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is spread some of this lawn soil over the area that you're gonna be working with. It's actually important to put down a little bit of fresh lawns in order to get that good seed to soil contact in order to make this a success. So I've gone out and I've gotten some of the Scott soil that I actually had laying around from last year. And it actually has a little bit of nutrients in the bag in order to help get things started quickly. All I'm going to do is take a bit of this lawn soil and spread a very thin fine layer over the top so we can get that seed to soil contact. Just like with any type of soil that you're going to get from store or nursery, it's going to have some sticks in it. Just get rid of those.
have some new lawn soil down, it's time to put in some seed. So I've picked up this bag of seed from again from my local Lowe's because it's nice and close and it's across the street. It's going to contain a mix of uh, Kentucky bluegrass, fescue, and ryegrass. Now the problem with this is that it's not going to match the grass that I already have in here, but that's okay. If this doesn't really work out for me, chances are I'm going to end up doing a big lawn rehabilitation back here in the fall anyway. So I'm not really too concerned about the fact that the seed doesn't match what's already in here. When you open this bag of seed, you'll see that it's covered with a coating, and that's in order to help it get a nice good start. We do have some nitrogen within the seed as well, again to help it give that nice little fast start. We want to be pretty liberal with this grass seed. Grass seed's pretty cheap, so we can afford to throw it down a little bit. That way, the more there is, the better chance it has of actually seeding. So just like that, just spread it around your area just like this. Take a small little handful, spread it around. Now what's really important here is we want to take that grass seed and we want to pat it down into the soil and that's going to help us get that all important seed to soil contact in order for this grass seed to grow that I've told you about. Now if you want, you can actually take a thatching rake or any type of garden tool and actually sow some of the seed into the soil in order to ensure some good seed to soil contact. So if you remember from our dethatching video, if you're going to use the dethatching rake to do this, use the curved end of the dethatching rake in order to help put the seed into the soil. You just want to lightly go over it. You want to go in and you don't want to you just want to lightly go over it. You don't want to go in and start tearing the seed up. So just go over it nice and light. One other thing you can absolutely do is just go ahead and step on the seed lightly too. Again, to get that seed to soil contact. Going to put a little bit more grass seed down just to make sure we have things covered nice and evenly. Now for the final step in this process what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw down some peat moss on top of this seed. As I explained earlier putting a fine layer of peat moss over top of this seed will help cover it and also it's going to help retain some moisture for when you go ahead and water your grass seed or if it rains. And the best part is, this is definitely gonna keep the animals off it as well. So just take a fine layer of this peat moss in your hand and just go over it, just like that. Make sure that it's enough to be covered but not buried because you don't wanna choke out the seed. So there you go, that's all there really is to it. Now what you want to do is go ahead and water this lightly a couple times a day in order to keep the seed moist so it doesn't dry out. Now I normally wouldn't recommend seeding this late in spring as you're going to have problems with weeds creeping in as we get into the hotter summer months. The most ideal time to go and do an overseeding project isn't in the spring, but it's actually in the fall when the soil temperatures are a little bit cooler and you're not competing with that deadly summer heat that we get in the dog days of summer in July and August. As I mentioned before, in order to help this lawn get a kickstart, I'm gonna put down some starter fertilizer over top of that and across the rest of the lawn. I'm also gonna do a general overseeding of the rest of this backyard to try and help thicken up this lawn as well. 
that's going to get us in good shape in time for summer. If you enjoyed today's video, please like the video below by hitting the thumbs up button. And the best thing about that thumbs up button is it's got a best friend called the subscribe button. So if you really like these videos and you want to be notified anytime I publish anything new, go ahead and hit subscribe down below today. Until next time, I'm Chris Vale, The Lawn Canuck.